Hello everyone, it's Jen here and a very warm welcome to my channel. Um, I've been contacted uh, by the lovely Bella over at Everyday e Deals and uh, she has asked if I would like to showcase some more of their products and I have said yes, uh, I do like Everyday e Deals. It was one of the first budget sites that I ever bought from and yeah, they've got some cracking stuff out there. So let us see what uh, she has sent me for review. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. The nights are now drawing in. Well, certainly here in the UK, they're starting to draw in. I think autumn's on its way. So we have got one um, off the canvas item. We have uh, a diamond painting. Now it's all special shape stuff I've got. So special shape um, paintings and special shape um, of the canvas products as well um, today. And oh, 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 guess what these are? Guess what these are? Yay! <laughs> right, we'll put them um, to the side. We'll look at the paintings first and then we'll look at the off, off the canvas items. Quite often I do it the other way around, do the off the canvas first and then the paintings, but no, we will do the paintings first. So yeah, special shape paintings. So here is the first one. And it is a special shape partial. And I did notice that um, Everyday e Deals had a few different styles of this um, painting, but uh, this is the one that I like. But if you go on to the website, um, you can see what other styles there are there. I will link this specific one down below. Um, but uh, yeah, they do have other styles available. And it is this beautiful um, diamond painting, crystal rhinestone, gothic face mask beauty is how it is described on the website. But yeah, it's like sort of like a Venetian style mask, but it's like, you know, really elaborate. It's got sort of like a nice hat. It's got what looks like hair coming down, a rose. Yes, it's lovely. Now, it's quite got quite um, heavy mailing folds in it, so it will need to go down under something flat, possibly even an iron. Um, that's the thing with the partials. Um, the because it's the area is not completely drilled. Um, you do need to make sure that that it's completely flat, because once you get the gems on there, you won't be able to do anything about these folds. But something heavy should do it, um, if not a cool iron. And um, yeah, this is lovely. This cost £5.28. What I'll do is I'll give out all the costs in pounds, um, British pounds. Um, there, obviously, there is a drop down menu for you to choose to your own particular currency. Um, there are eight different colours or eight different styles of gems looks like it's all crystal rhinestones and looks like we've got one special shape or two special shapes so yeah not as many gems on there as i thought there would be but it's um, there's quite a lot of drilling going on so there's quite a lot of coverage in the area around the hat and the hair and around the eyes of the mask so It'll still look lovely, particularly against that black background. Oh, I haven't measured it. Gosh, what am I doing? What am I thinking about? Uh, it is a 30 by 40. So it's a 30 by 40. Um, the actual area is 25. That's if you include the background. 25, I imagine by 35 actually. Yeah, just short of 35, but I think that's because the folds aren't completely out. 
um, yeah, and eight colours or eight different uh, gems. So a little bit smaller, but that's kind of standard. Uh, we have a regular toolkit, um, but that's all you really need to uh, do this painting. So green boat, pink wax, and a pink pen. Yeah, drills. I was going to show. You. I was getting ahead of myself trying to show you the drills first. So uh, lots of reds and golds in this, I think. So bags look a little bit dusty. Um, so we've got a very pale, um, sort of like yellow, pale gold. Oops, it. And this is a sort of a reddish brown. An orange. A darker gold. Oh, wow, that's a lovely bright red. And then we've got this even brighter red. So this is more of a darker red, and this one's a lot brighter. And then we've got two different marquees. We've got a gold faceted and also a green faceted. So this, this um, actually will take... I, I reckon this is going to take two or three hours to do. Just because the coverage, particularly in the hat, there's uh, there's quite a lot going on up there. Um, as I said, drills are a little bit dusty. However, looking at the backs of the drills, there's not a lot of scratching going on there. So, I mean, if you look at these red ones here, the backs on those are really, really good. So, I don't think there's going to be, you know, much, if any, trash in these. So, very nice, very nice. This is going to look lovely when it's done. It's very um, art, art, uh, let me say art deco. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's pop her out the way and we will look at the next one, which is here. And again, there are several different, if I can find the end, there are several, several different styles of this type of diamond painting. Um, the one, this is the one I got. Again, it's a 30 by 40. Again, with the heavy mailing folds, but this should, um, it's not creased. It's just folded, so it's... Um, It'll do fine under a, something heavy or an iron. And it is this ladybird. Or, if you're in the US, <laughs> ladybug. <laughs> in the UK, we call them ladybirds. So, again, special shapes. And I love this. Because where like the wing casing has opened up, you've got the wings, but the body is made up of all these flowers. And we've got flower up here, little flower buds as well on the antennae and on the legs. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think they've got other things as well. I think I saw, st uh, actually, I think it was a stag beetle. I was like, you know, oh my gosh, did I get this one or did I get a stag beetle? But there's lots of different types of insects. I think there's about maybe five or six. So that's 25 by, once that's flat, yeah, 35. So 25 by 35. This looks like quite a bad crease in the camera, but it is not a crease. It's a fold. It's a fold and it will, um, let me look. Yeah, yeah, that will come out fine. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Here we are, over here. Um, this cost, if I can bring it up on the website, this cost £5.28. Okay, £5.28. Again, there'll be a link to this painting down below, but um, if you like the style, maybe you want to try some of the other like fancy bugs that are there, that you have a little look around. Basic toolkit again, as before. Now this time we have got 
14 different colours and shapes, crystal rhinestones, or oh, I can see some of my favourite ones here in terms of special shapes. Let's take a look at them. So, oh, now these ones aren't dusty. So, like the, the mask ones were dusty. These ones aren't. These are lovely and crystal clear. And um, again, the backs on these look super. Not a lot of scratching. Really good quality. So we've got some clear, a nice bright green. We have a red, just a regular black acrylic, gold, an orange, some blue, some purple, a paler blue. And here we're going to the special shapes now. So we've got these round um, faceted uh, gems. Lots of oranges and pinks coming off of those ones. Oh, I like these ones. Um, I've got a few different colours of these in different colours. These ones are red. These are the AB coated teardrops. Some hot pink. Hot pink, Liz. Marquees. I don't think I've had this colour of marquee before. God, I bet you they're going to be flower petals. Oh yes, I can see. Yes, 11. No, 12. There's 12. So I thought they were going to be the flower petals, but that's the flower petals are here. 12 is... They're going to be the little buds. Yeah, they're going to be little buds on the antennae and the legs. We have got some a fairly large um, clear faceted uh, teardrops. Again, a little bit of an iridescent shine to them. Oh, and we've got some ovals here. Blue faceted oval gems as well. They're pretty. Nice colour of blue. So yeah, that is going to look gorgeous when it's done. It really is. Um, nice old ladybird. Um, I haven't seen those before, so yeah, I was really taken by them. Not seen them anywhere else. Okay, um, let's get the painting out of the way and let's pick up some of the off the canvas items. Right, okay, let's go with these because you know what these are. Coasters. And uh, I discovered coasters ages, a while ago, two or three months ago. Um, but I hadn't and uh, seen uh, these coasters anywhere. So I thought, yay, coasters. I well, haven't seen anywhere else with these ones. No, they're not mandolins. They are butterflies butterfly coasters and they do they come in a nice little uh holder now this is a set of six and the set of six cost if i can find it nine pounds seventy okay nine pounds seventy for a set of six so that is about what one fifth one fifty a coaster less than that yeah about 150 a coaster so there you go not, oh, not too bad with a little um um stand as well so i hope you can see that yeah you can you can see the butterfly design brand there now these are really going to stand out because all this background that's black and all the butterfly hopefully is going to be in crystals i can see lots of crystals down there but we'll just double check it's a a wooden back coaster and it measures probably about 10 centimeters yeah 10 centimeters diameter so that's a good size for a coaster you get a nice chunky mug on a 10 centimeter coaster 
So yeah, different styles of butterfly. So this one looks like it's uh, mostly blue. We have one that is green. This feels a little bit sticky, actually. Hold on. Well sticky underneath, but the, the top of the plastic feels a bit sticky, so that's okay. We don't oh, we don't mind the top of the plastic being a bit sticky. I think it's probably um, come from the bottom of another coaster. This one looks like it's mostly in reds. And this one looks like it's pinks. Uh, as does this one. This one looks like it's in pinks as well. And the last one is slightly different because instead of a butterfly sort of like full on, this is kind of like a butterfly flying from the side. Oh yeah, butterfly coasters. Right, let's have a look at what we get. So we, again, same toolkit as before, uh, the boat, the pen and the wax. Let's see how many colours we get with this. Um, so the... Here's the end of the bag. Here's the end of the bag. So... The symbol on the drill pack will match up with the symbol on the poster. So, for example, all these coasters have got a black background and the black is symbol X on the bag. And then if you look on the coaster, you'll see that black background there is all symbol X. So, very easy to match up. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. It looks like we've got 11 different colours, rhinestone colours, plus the black background, which makes 12. Now, these are just ordinary black acrylic drills, but I will tell you, they look really shiny. The camera is actually picking up really well. They do look very shiny. And again, the drills themselves, the bags don't look dusty, and the drills look really super sparkly, the crystals look really super sparkly should I say and there's I can't see much in the way of scratching on the silver back so we have got quite a deep pink there an aqua blue oh that look at the sparkle on that blue oh isn't that gorgeous we've got a clear a reddish orange oh this is a very, very, very pale lilac. A slightly darker blue. Oh, if it wasn't such a lovely colour, I'd be annoyed. I just thought they were all going to be rhinestones, but no, we've got um, green teeny tiny teardrops. Now, that's such a beautiful emerald green colour. But yeah, teeny tiny teardrops, which I don't like very much because, well, I like the look, but I don't like putting them down. <laughs> but it makes a nice change from the rhinestones, to be fair. Here we go. We've got more of a Barbie pink here. Oh, a really bright gold. And here's a darker pink. And a darker green. They are lovely. I'm, I'm really impressed with the sparkle on the, on those drills, on those uh, rhinestones. Really, really good. So yeah, set of six coasters and a lovely little sand. Okay, last thing. Coasters, good Christmas present. This is a nice little segue into what this last thing is here because these yeah the c word again christmas decorations so let's open them up and get the price in a second now all these products will be linked below 
Um, the coasters, although you can get them as a set of six, um, you can also buy them individually as well. I'll just get the price for an individual coaster. We'll just lay these out. Oh, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. They're very thin. I've got five different um, Christmas decorations here. Right. Or you could use them as keychains. I think that's, um, you know, how they're advertised. But I'm just going to pull the, the, um, the page up in a minute. Um, to get an individual coaster, so as I said, I set the coaster is £9.70. Uh, the link will be to the set of coasters. An individual coaster is £3.52. So there you go. Look, guys, it's it's worthwhile getting the set rather than just getting one coaster. Okay, so there you go. Um, right, last one is uh, these uh, Christmas keychains. Oh, let me see. I lost my little cursor off my mouse. <laughs> And these are £5.28, so it's just over a pound a keychain. And yeah, we've got the keychain assemblies in here. Boat pen and wax. Um, I'm not going to use them as keychains. I'm going to use them as Christmas decorations for the Christmas tree. Again, there are lots and lots and lots of different styles on the website. The link will be to this selection. Um, but there, I've got lots of different selections to choose from. Um, I was very, I think I might go back actually and buy a couple of other selections and then that will be my tree well and truly blinged up. So we have a sled, Santa sleigh with his bag of presents, a snowman, Santa Claus himself, an angel and holly and bells. Now, I was going, oh, I'm glad, because when I was taking these uh, out the bag, I noticed they're double-sided. Yes. Yes, we like double-sided. But they're also very, very thin, which I wasn't expecting. I mean, you can see how thin they are there. They're about a millimetre thin, very thin and quite flexible. But they're on like, they, they are acrylic, so they're like that kind of a flexible acrylic. Um, so I think, you know, they're not going to break and they're not, you know, so like if you, you've got them on the tree and if you're anything like my house, um, the cat jumps up onto the tree, knocks everything over. If this gets knocked off the Christmas tree, it's not going to break. Okay. Cause it's that kind of flexible bendy plastic. Um, the other advantage is as well, when you come to drill it, because it's so thin, you're not going to get that, uh, maybe I should choose another one that's not, oh, jaggy bits. Um, it's Because it's so thin, you're not going to sort of, is it printed on both sides? You know, it's so thin, I can't tell if it's printed on both sides or not. But you know how when it's on the thick acrylic, sometimes your drills might seem a bit off when you're looking at it. Oh, well sticky. Um... Yeah, you're not going to get that with it being so thin. Let's have a look at the colours. And again, no dusty drills in this one. Nice and clear and sparkly. So we've got some regular black acrylic. Santa's boots and the snowman's hat, I think. Got that lovely blue again, the aqua blue. A little bit of scratching on those. Um, now, the reason why I was mentioning about scratching on the bottom of the silver or the bottom or on the silver at the bottom of the rhinestone is that basically anything that's got scratches there at the bottom, you can't use them because you'll see the symbol through the gem. Um, so you don't want that scratching there. But there's always tons of gems. So even if you do get quite a few with scratched bottoms, you also have plenty to do the projects. Nice red. Oh, that clear is so sparkly. And I should actually say that that goes with all the clear gems that I've seen uh, in this unbagging. They are super sparkly. There's nothing worse. Oh, I do not like it when you get um, rhinestones and they look cloudy. But I can tell you these do not look cloudy at all. Oh, that's a beautiful green. 
that really is a beautiful green and here's christmas gold a very pale pink and we've got these large round red gems and my goodness there's tons of them and it's only for the holly berries yeah we only need them, we only need them in the holly berries so we'll only need eight four on that side four on the other and look how many we've got oh plenty for any extra projects that you might want to do so yeah what a super haul thank you very very much bella um and thank you very very much everyday ideals so um yeah let's do a quick recap so we have got these five piece keychain set but you know they'll uh, for me they'll be christmas decorations <laughs> We have got um, our coasters. It's a six-piece coaster set, this time with butterflies. Um, so, yeah, lots of crystals, lots of uh, special shapes in this uh, particular order. We have this uh, cute little ladybird, a ladybug, in special shapes. I love the way the body's been done and it's all in the flowers. I love that. And then we have this really lovely, classy um, mask. So yes, absolutely fantastic. Um, please, please, please go and check out Everyday Edios. Um, I've been shopping with them for a couple of years um, before I started the, my YouTube channel. So, um, you know, I've got quite a few things from them um, over the years. Um, if you do want to go and check them out and you see some things you might like to buy, like the coasters or I love this ladybird, I really do. I'm going to get a couple more of those, I think, or the different types of bugs. Um, please use my code. Um, they've very kindly given me um, a code for 10% off and that is Gamer10. So it should be going across the screen now and uh, it will also be in the description box down below along with these links so yeah thank you very very much for watching thank you very very much to bella and all the folks over at everyday ideals once again if you have liked this video please um could you hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would love to have you join me here and uh, hit that subscribe button you can see some more fantastic products from Everyday Ideals. And yeah, you'll be able to get an update on when I do these because uh, once I have uh, done all these projects, I will be showing um, a completion video uh, showing you what they all look like, basically, and uh, giving you my thoughts on the finished articles. So yeah, look out for that one. And I will see you all in my next video, guys. Okay, cheerio.